What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with my review for WandaVision. So in this case, it's going to be episodes number 5 and 6. Um, just basically, mostly because last week's episode's cat is now out of the bag, and this week's episode is a continuation of a lot of what we're seeing throughout the season, and um, who we see in last week's episode as the final episodic reveal. So... Episode 5 is titled On a Very Special Episode, and Episode 6 is titled On a New Halloween Spooktacular. So, oh, um, basically I'll start off the um, review with the uh, main topic at hand, and that is that uh, Wanda brings in her brother Pietro into the show, but as the big... OMG reveal, instead of the Pietro that we see in Age of Ultron, we have the version of him from X-Men Days of Future Past. So um, that was a pretty good reveal, and I did like the little touch that they had that um, outside of Wanda's little bubble in that they mentioned that they recast him. So technically, yes, but not really as well, um, just because he was cast as... Um, Basically because both the actors are cast as Pietro, but in separate franchises. So it's more like a swap casting, I guess, something along those lines. I'm not sure what they what to quite call it. But basically we have the two episodes as a progression that Wanda is controlling the bubble um, for her life to, because it makes it easier for her to... Um, control what's going on but it's also slowly falling apart because her uh, basically vision is starting to realize that things are not quite what they seem and um we now see that the characters inside the bubble are being controlled by, by wanda but their ability to do anything about it is being suppressed by her so it's not only um the agents of sword outside of the bubble but um vision inside the bubble to try to figure out what's going on and um either fix what what's going on or um kind of figure out the overarching story on the whole um in episode six we do see vision try to escape but um wanda's kids or twin sons have powers one of them has speed which i think is a matter of convenience because of pietro but the other one has the ability to I guess read radio waves or thoughts or um, various transmissions inside the bubble. So he was able to figure out that Vision is trying to escape. So Wanda expands the size of the bubble to keep him inside. So we'll see kind of what's going on there. Um, probably by the end of the season, but how that deals with Sword and um, how it's supposed to tie into Doctor Strange's multiverse of madness, or if we're already in that multiverse of madness, but. Overall, um, I guess the, the whole these whole couple of episodes are supposed to deal with um, Wanda's um, unreconciled sadness with the loss of Vision and Pietro, but that she's controlling the bubble and we're not quite sure what's going on in her mind. So, um, kind of that the bubble is falling apart and that sword is slowly narrowing down on what's going on and we have a lot of politics in sword as well so um all sorts of different progressions going on in the show and overall all uh worth checking out so um that's really all for this particular review there's not too much to say at the moment i'm still gonna go through to check out some of the spoilers and easter eggs but i did like the little touch that they had as far as bringing up their uh, Wanda's and Pietro's accents in this episode, or in episode six, last in episode five, it was a recasting, so pretty nifty little touch there. Um, I did like uh, Vision's interaction with the neighbor lady who said that he's an Avenger and that he's dead, but uh, Vision didn't know that he was an Avenger, so um, nice little touches there as far as tying things to the universe and a little bit of self um, joking as far as the accents go. So, um, we'll, we'll kind of see where they're going from here. Um, and that's all there is for this particular review. So as far as the rest of the season, the current plan is to watch the rest of the season and review it as a whole, unless the next three episodes have that much of a reveal to warrant a full review. But, um, 
that's kind of where we're at now. So it's kind of looks like they are going to be able to set up the tie in with the multiverse of madness or at least find out what's going on with Wanda's bubble or tie it into Doctor Strange um, because of all the energy she's outputting because of her being able to bring vision back to life, potentially Pietro as well. But maybe it has uh, ramifications with the universe as a whole. Um, and uh, maybe something related to the Infinity Stones or something related to Wanda's powers that is causing a disruption in the rest of the universe that we do not know about or un- are, are unable to see at the moment. So that's all there is for this review. Um Thanks for tuning in. And if you have want to get in touch with me, provide your own feedback or comments or anything like that, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website is PatelN01.com for past episodes, subscription links, supporting a good show, or supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. But thanks for tuning in, and until next time.